Hi, I'm Martha Grant. I'm the Director of Cooperative Development for Action Network and Action Builder. Our tools are movement owned and movement built. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through Action Builder, which is our organizing platform. So this is Action Builder. This is the page you're taken to when you first log into the system. You can quickly and easily see all the people in your campaign. And at a glance, you see the color-coded assessment scale front and center. The assessment scale is something that you set at the organization level, and it'll be across all of your campaigns in the system, all of your different organizing lists. You can make this whatever you want. You could be a, have it be a one through four scale, showing who's with you versus who's against you, or you could have it be more of a ladder of engagement, who's just getting involved versus who's a committed leader. The idea here is you wanted to be able to see at a glance, what is the most important next conversation you need to have with a person? You also see customizable top lines here. What is the information your organizers or activists need to see right now for this campaign to be successful and for them to have an effective conversation? This is really built around one-on-one -on -one organizing, leadership development, and making sure that people are deeply committed to your organization across your scope of work. That could be geographic, making sure that you have leaders in all sorts of different geographies, or it could be based on different groups. So do you have leaders across different religious faiths in your community? You've got quick, easy ways to contact people one-on-one, -on -one, and we have a quick, easy way to see that leadership growth and development across your different constituencies with a chart view. So in addition to one-on-one -on -one contacts, you can determine who do I need to talk to next quickly and easily. You can group by location or any data point in the system, which we call fields and responses. If I click on location, we can see a breakout by geography here. You can see those assessments across different geographies to say, hmm, I've got a lot of leadership development done here in Chanhassen, Wilmington, and Lakeville, but I don't have as many leaders here in Invergrove Heights, in Blaine, in Andover. So you can start to see where do you want to invest your resources. And you can click expand to get percentages and counts. And you can click on any of these blocks to see the actual individual that we're talking about here. Who are your leaders? Who do you need to focus on growing? You can click on the six people here to actually see all the names in that bucket. All of this is fake data. Of course, we would never, ever share any of the data that you share with us. It is your information. I can click on the map view next. So here we can see all of the people in this campaign on a map, and I can zoom in to see their most recent assessments. And I can click on any of these individual dots to see the individual person to then log a new assessment or jump to their person profile. I'm going to go back to the wall chart here to show you quickly. This is what it looks like on your phone. This is a mobile friendly website. So everything that I'm showing you right now can be completed as easily or even more easily on your mobile device. Whenever anybody clicks on the link to log in for the first time, it'll take them to this page, the chart view page on their phone or on their laptop, wherever they're clicking that. Link. Here I can click on Janetta's profile and I can see the information that I or anyone else in the system has logged about Janetta. So we have email addresses, phones, addresses. We can add this green checkbox to say that we've confirmed that address. We can have as many addresses, emails, or phone numbers as we want in the system. We can see an assessment history on this page and we can add a new assessment. And then we have the information section, which is really the heart of the tool. So here we can add any information that we want to track in the system. This starts out blank and you customize it for your organization. This is a pretty standard set of questions and responses, fields and responses that we've seen organizations have. So we have action participation with the date people completed particular actions. We have a leadership growth question where you can add a note about somebody's participation in a small group meeting or leadership training. And then we have job information here as well. We also have a relationship section where you can add how does somebody know someone and who do they know. So you can add notes about a particular relationship here. And we have a free form notes section where you can add any information. You can also include links to um, other profiles 
or to other information that you want to track about a person. The final piece to show you on a person's profile is this promote button. You can quickly and easily create an account for somebody to log in and get access to add their own conversations in the system. You can restrict access based on a work site or based on any other response in the system, a particular issue that somebody cares about, a particular chapter that somebody is a part of. This is how you segment access in the system. If Janetta logs in, she only has access to the people that we give her access to here if I check this limit user's access to this assignment box. If I uncheck that box, she has access to the whole campaign and everyone in it and can log her conversations there. We have an activity page here where you can see all activity that has been logged in the system and who logged it. We created this to really help with debriefs so that you can run through the different conversations somebody has had in a day or in a week. And then we have our tasks page. Here you can quickly add information to a particular profile. It's kind of like a short script, but without too many prompts. Here I could click on Delmi's profile, see if the address is up to date, mark it as confirmed. And if my lead on a campaign has set it up, I can have a default response logged for a person when I click confirmed. So we could use this to check everybody in for a meeting really quickly. It's a shortcut for doing data entry. It's a shortcut for logging different information. That's about it in terms of the quick profile. Um, we also have a need help button up here so folks can get in touch with us or a support contact for their campaign quickly and easily. And a search bar so you can quickly search for anybody in a campaign without too much trouble and jump to their profile. I hope this short overview has given you a solid glimpse of who we are and what we do. Uh, don't hesitate to reach out with other questions. When we say movement owned and movement built, this is what we mean. This is just a handful of the labor organizers and labor staff who are integral to the building process for Action Builder. We have a close partnership with the AFL-CIO and are always looking for more movement organizations to join what we call the development table for our technology. 